Once you've added photos to a slide, you may want to change the appearance. Perhaps the photo just needs a boost to saturation, or you want to screen it back to make it a little less dominant. PowerPoint offers several different options for formatting the appearance of photos, and I'd like to walk you through them. First up, let's take a look at the Corrections command. With an image selected, you could choose to format its appearance. You'll see over here, Corrections. Clicking this will offer up several different options. For example, the ability to sharpen. Currently, it's in the middle here with no sharpening, but you could increase that. For example, adding a 50% sharpen. You'll note that some of the details in the photo are popping a bit more. Let's zoom in a bit so you can see that. Now, sharpening can introduce a bit of noise, so it's important that you balance that out. Adding sharpening beyond 25% can often be problematic, so find something that works for you. Additionally, you'll see the option for brightness and contrast. This allows you to adjust contrast and brightness. Normally, you're right here in the middle at zero. But you can do things like increase the brightness while leaving contrast alone, or add a little bit of brightness and contrast. Essentially, these radiate out from the middle. This particular photo is relatively properly exposed. But let's take a look at one that's just a bit dark. Using the corrections command, I could simply brighten that up a little bit. And note that you can really see what's happening there. Perhaps 20% brighter with a little more contrast, I think that's a nice boost. The blue sky and white clouds are coming through, while the silhouette of the tree branch is still black and crisp. You'll note as you work with the corrections command, you also have the ability at the bottom to manually invoke some changes. By clicking on the format picture option, located at the very bottom here, this essentially gives you sliders. So now you can dial in the sharpness that you want, all the way up to 100%, although generally that's way too much. But in this case, about 55% is looking pretty good. And I can invoke some overall contrast and play with the brightness of the photo. As you brighten the photo, you'll generally need to add some contrast in as well. Under picture color, you'll see some additional options for things like saturation and color temperature. We'll explore these more later, but generally speaking, if you brighten an image, be sure to round it off with a boost to saturation so it maintains proper color. Brightening a photo will decrease saturation, while darkening it naturally will increase it. When you're satisfied, you can close that window and go on to work with other photos in your presentation. The corrections command, again, can be found under the format option. Just make sure you have the photo selected, and then format will show you picture tools. For the bulk of that, access the quick corrections for sharpening, softening, brightness, and contrast, or explore the more advanced options towards the bottom with picture corrections options.